We've got the hammer in his hand. This is Belleville in southeast Liverpool, and this video was shared with Sky News by a community who claimed they're being terrorised by armed teenagers and police are struggling to maintain control. Two of this group have hammers, another a knife sharpener. They were looking for a boy due to testify at the murder trial of Daniel G. Jameson, seen here in the red head guard, a keen boxer. But in a fight last July, Daniel was stabbed and killed. He was 16 years old. Yeah, this is where he was. Just yards from their home, his mother managed to reach him before he died. Under the bridge where it happened, where I found Daniel anyway. But still recalls the moment every night. The colour in his face just drained. All his mouth was white. And it, I held his, held his hand and it was felt new cold and clammy. He said to me, Mum, we just want to go to sleep. I said, don't go to sleep, please don't go to sleep. In March, 17-year-old Owen Cousins was cleared of Daniel's murder but sentenced to 11 years for manslaughter. But Mandy feels the conviction of her son's killer has done little to calm tension in this community. She even felt targeted on the day of Daniel's funeral. As we left, um, the cars pulled away. A few of them were at the top of the road waving like this. Big smile on the faces going. And next thing we had motorbikes and they were threatening all of Daniel's friends that were at the funeral, saying, you're next, you're next. And then when I came out, I got this, they're going to meet, you're getting it next as well. Did Daniel carry a knife? Daniel got caught with a knife in September 2017. And I don't condone that. Daniel felt that scared that he couldn't go anywhere without fear of, of being jumped or stabbed at all the time. You've got to give kids things to do, so they're all killing each other. Knife crime has hit a record high across the country. Here, Merseyside has seen the second highest rise, up 49% in the last year. Falling police numbers might be partly to blame, as well as gang disputes and teenagers wanting to feel protected. Merseyside police say they're still working to understand the rise and how to tackle it. Would you say this is the biggest challenge on your hands at the moment? It's certainly uh, one of the biggest things I've seen in my 20-year police service. What do you do about it? That's, that's, that's the question. I think what we need to remember is there's not one answer, there's not one body or one organisation that can stop uh, the issues around knife crime. This has got to be uh, a joint uh, effort by everyone involved. That includes the public, uh, potentially more than anyone else. You know, we need the public to tell us who are carrying knives. But more officers are only part of what's needed. Police here say they need to get the message across to young people. They're more at risk carrying a knife. Liverpool City Council say they've tried to protect frontline youth work, but 66% of their central government funding has been cut since 2010. And the judge in this case said, even after the death of a teenager, no lessons were learned by this group, who arrived tooled up, as he said, in the hunt for another lad. Teenagers fighting, stabbing, dying is not exclusive to this area and there is no single answer. But this video gives an ugly insight into the problems politicians and police are trying to solve. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, Liverpool.